This is Dr. Touch. Today I want to show you how to set up certificates. Uh, mine have expired, so that's a good chance. Let's see if I can do that in 10 minutes or less. Uh, here's my developer certificate. Going to remove this. And also my distribution certificate. Both of them expired. So get rid of those. Uh, next we need to go to uh, the provisioning portal, which is under developer apple.com iPhone. <clears throat> you have to log in. Uh, go to the provisioning portal. And under certificates, I have no valid ones currently. So what we do is we go to keychain access again, keychain access, certificate assistance request. That's my name, common name, and we want to save it to disk, continue. Uh, and I'm appending a, a def in front of it because I'm doing the same thing a second time for um, my distribution one, save to disk, and I call this dist. Now I need to request a certificate, first the development one, choose my file that I called dev, choose, submit. Do the same for choose file, dist, submit. Aha, for the development, I've got an incorrect name. So I reject it briefly. Try it again. Um, certificate request. It should only be called Oliver. Drobnik, save to disk, save it as dev, the name doesn't really matter really, uh, it's just that you want to be able to tell them apart, choose, dev, submit, hmm. don't know why it insists on the kg here, but let's approve it. Uh, if you are by yourself, you, you do this. Uh, if you are in a development team, then the account owner needs to do that. Ah, it already downloaded the distribution one. And the developer one can download as well. So I've got both of them in my downloads. So click on one. It's here. Click on the other one distribution it's here so you see under my certificates I've got the distribution certificate with the private key and I've got the developer certificate with the private key now let's set up the um, well the devices haven't changed still have quite a few here um, the app IDs haven't changed so these can stay as well uh, now for the provisioning uh, it basically automatically took the new certificate, put it here, but I still need to check it. So submit. And one thing to note at the side, um, I always just use one provisioning profile with app ID star. Yeah. Don't uh, let yourself be made believe that you need uh, different ones here for development. This is sufficient. And with it, you can also use the automatic um, provisioning thing. Um, the automatic selector in the target. You don't have to specify the, the certificate all the time or the, the signing identity all the time. So App Store, I need my submit. Can only, cannot choose different ones. You can only select the one um, that's in here. Hello, submit. Uh -huh. Submit doesn't work. <laughs> so let's try again. Submit. Oh, come on. 
they have a bug in the thing here. Um, <clears throat> ad hoc, only uh, a second, uh, only a single one. Let's see if submit works here. Yeah, if it doesn't, just go into the profile name and hit enter. And I also have, well, that's my ad hoc and my thing. So develop the app store one, the development one, and back in here also I've got an ad hoc one. So this, this pending is always a couple of seconds every time. So click, edit it, development click, edit it, uh, app store click, edit it and you see they are all, there's an old one, can get rid of this. Uh, and I've got, which one is the newer one? Huh. There's an ad hoc, get rid of, delete. Development, this is the one that's going to be expiring anyway. So get rid of this, I made a new one. App store profile 30, 32W4. Let's check which one this is. 6P2Z is the one, this one. So this one is old anyway. And that's also something I don't care about. Yeah, it's always good to clean up a bit so that you don't have that many uh, different provisioning profiles out here. So now I have only got valid ones. Uh, just to briefly show you how this uh, will look in in an app. Um, if you have an Xcode open, let's just take like the betting pools, for example. Um, here uh, you have two uh, places where you can set the, tar uh, the target, the, the signing profile. I usually do that in the target, get info, <coughs> build. And here for the different configurations for debug, I always use the developer one. And you see, uh, I'm using the automatic profile selector, uh, which is the one with the star um, and the asterisk. And so this, this will always work. And if I have this project in a uh, rep repository, the other developers working on it don't have to constantly change their uh, signing target as uh, the profile selector as well because they also have a sorry developer profile that that works for them every time and for another uh, version like the release uh, you would choose distribution in this case it would automatically match my ad hoc one and just for the case of uh, distribution so release is ad hoc and distribution i would choose specifically uh, the App Store one, yeah. In this case, uh, it, Andreas Heck signed it with his. I've got his uh, distribution uh, profile here as well. I think, or don't, don't I? No, I don't. Um, so distribution generally will match ad hoc, but if you want to build for App Store, you specifically choose your App Store provisioning profile. And that's it. I'm renewed for yet another year. Um, uh, I hope. By this time next year, you will also uh, already be able to, to do this yourself. <laughs> so have a nice day and enjoy your, uh, how do you say, re-requesting re of your certificates. It's not that difficult as you have seen. Bye-bye.